Today, we are going to make a DIY BL touch. Let's get started. After all the components are assembled, we need to set two angles for the servo motor. One is for pushing the probe and the other is for releasing it. The first angle we need to find out is zero degree, which is used to push the probe all the way up. For the ease of observing, I've created a program for testing servo motor angles using an Arduino Nano. When I successfully uploaded the program to the Arduino Nano, you will hear the sound from the servo motor. It is indicating it has reached zero degree, which I preset in the program. And now you need to put the servo horn on it. Gently wiggle it and you will find out the right way to put it. Then you will see the horn is just above the flag. I cannot turn it down because the flag is gonna drop a distance too which I don't want it. So I need to cut the bottom of the flag a little bit. Here I also tried the other values and the servo motor tender as well. Simply input the angles you want in the serial monitor here. You can see the servo motor is turning to the angles. As for releasing the probe, I believe 35 degree is working the best for me. And now I know what angles work the best. You may use different values and you need to keep that in mind. 
I use the Creality N3 Pro and have upgraded to the V47 motherboard. This board offers a fire pin to a bell touch, but your DIY VFP touch has six wires. We need to figure out what those pins are. The optical end stop is sharing the power. We need to join the both power wires together. It all makes sense now. I extend the cable to about 80 cm long. Check your connections over and over. The wrong connections will burn your 3D printer's motherboard. You don't want that to happen. I use a 5-pin GST connector, which is perfectly fit the board. Gently connect it to the board and get the cable organized. I'm gonna build a Marlin 2.0 firmware. You need to download from its website. The firmware is built in the VS Code and Auto Build Marlin. Just follow this instruction, and you will enable an automatic bed leveling on your Ender 3. Once the firmware is built, copy it to the TF card. Make sure the 3D printer is off and load the TF card to the 3D printer. Turn on the 3D printer and wait until the printer reboots itself. This means your 3D printer has been successfully updated. Find a USB cable to connect it to a computer. We need to reset the EEP row. Just send M502, then press Enter. The printer will be reset to the factory. Follow the M500 to save it. Now, the Marlin firmware is all set. When installing this small device, it's crucial to pay attention to its height. During my installation, I positioned the device in its retracted state, using a flat surface as a reference. The prop's bottom should be about 3 mm higher than the nozzle's bottom. When the prop is released, its bottom should end up about 3 mm lower than the nozzle's bottom. This difference in height is sufficient to trigger the switch, while ensuring that the nozzle doesn't make any contact with the heating bed. If you are performing the installation yourself, make sure to carefully address this issue. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. I will see you in the next video.